Good morning from the NASDAQ market side in Times Square. I'm Jane King for The Street, and today is Thursday, December 10th. Coming up today, weekly initial jobless claims are due, U.S. import and export prices are released, and a U.S. Senate Committee on Energy and Natural Resources holds a hearing on terrorism and global oil markets. Well, the unrelenting route in oil prices continues this morning. Crude oil prices slipped again today ahead of a monthly oil report from the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, or OPEC. Now, prices have had been higher earlier in this session after the U.S. government said crude stockpiles fell by more than expected last week, but market optimism was overshadowed by significant growth in distillate inventories. Well, Chevron said it will reduce its capital spending by 24 percent next year. Chevron and other major oil companies have been cutting costs and capital spending plans in response to an extended downturn in prices for crude. The chairman and CEO John Watson said the 2016 capital spending plan will allow the company to complete and step up projects that are under construction and fund high-return, short-cycle investments while preserving options for long-cycle programs. And Walmart has joined the mobile pay fray with a new payment app. The retailer's mobile app will allow shoppers to use their Android or iPhone smartphones to pay for purchases in Walmart stores. The app will be launched today in its home state of Arkansas and then rolled out to other stores eventually. That is a wrap for us. But be sure to track breaking news and analysis all day at thestreet.com at the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. I'm Jane King for The Street. Have a great day. Great day.